Today we are going to discuss ChatGPT Atlas browser. It's an AI powered browser which contains ChatGPT, real time web search, and personal workflow automation all in one place. So, if you are someone who loves productivity, automation, and research, you are at the right place. So, if you are someone who loves productivity, automation, and research, and you are going to want to watch this till end. So in this video, we are going to download and install ChatGPT Atlas browser, try some of the real world uh, examples and use cases, and discuss how it is going to change web browsing forever. So I'm Abdesh, I have 20 plus years of experience building large applications for Fortune companies. And in this channel, I have been reviewing multiple uh, AI based tools and sharing my learnings. So what exactly is ChatGPT Atlas browser? It's ChatGPT built directly inside your internet experience. So instead of opening ChatGPT in one tab and Google in other tab, OpenAI has combined both in one. So with this, you can search the web and get the summarized results instantaneously. Chat with web pages the way you do with ChatGPT and even use AI workflows to automate your everyday tasks. Like, you know, buying things, creating lists and we are going to discuss them in detail. So now let's try it out. Okay. So let's get started. So first you can search for OpenAI Atlas browser. Uh, you know, whatever is the latest link, use that. We are going to use this link. Great. So here it is like, you know, download for Mac OS and we are using uh, Mac. Currently they are, have provided, uh, you know, option to download for Mac and use it for free. Um, so Mac, you can use free plus pro pro uh, for some time. Um, so let's try it out. Let's start downloading. Download for Mac OS. Okay. So let's log into chat GPT. Okay. So it will ask you to import data. So, you know, to bring the bookmarks and other stuff. So let's, let's import our data. Let's skip the keychain. Okay, let's turn on the browser more memories for now. Okay, let's do it. Make your cursor a collaborator. Okay, that's fine. Set as a default browser. I don't know that. <laughs> You're all set. Okay. Hmm. So here we are. This is, you know, we are using ChatGPT browser. Okay. So let's get started. The thing which most of the uh, folks use browser is to search. So let's search something. Okay. So find me recipe for, okay, let's find a high protein recipe for ourselves. Okay. So here it is. It is kind of, you know, so this is looking more like a chat GPT response. Um, if you want, you can go to this page where it will show you different links of recipes if you want to see. And okay, you have image option also. And you have videos. Okay. So they have tab for everything. Great. Um, let's open uh, YouTube also. So you just have to type youtube.com and it will open it here. Okay. And what we are going to do is, okay, so it already got our history from earlier. The second thing which you can use is to, you know, scan the page. So here I'm going to ask chat GPT, but okay. So find me best. So I'm trying to find the best video um, on this topic, ChatGPT Atlas browser. Let's see what it does. So it's saying the top is the ChatGPT Atlas browser future of best for general audience. Okay, let me ask it which um, title will get maximum views okay it is saying this title is going to get the maximum views 
So I'm going to have same title for this video and let's see how it does. Now if you observe something, the best thing about this is that like, you know, you are on a particular page and you are able to talk to chat GPT, get results. Previously, you might be doing, you know, going to chat GPT, providing it a screenshot or a lot of details to, you know, get this answer. Now here you have power of kind of YouTube search. YouTube is already showing top videos and then chat GPT is helping us in analyzing and finding the best one for us. So that's great. Now let's use chat GPT to summarize some of these things. So this is Zillow and imagine that like, you know, we are looking for a house. So imagine like, you know, we are looking for a house in Gainesville, GA, and there are so many options. So what we can do is we can ask chat GPT, can you please cost per square feet? So what we are trying to do is find a house which has a pool and four plus bedroom, and it has the lowest cost per square feet. That way, you know, you're getting the best value for your money. Let's see. And, you know, you can open multiple sessions and, you know, chat GTPD will be working on it. So, like, you know, you can just start session, it will work and, you know, you can come back and see the results. Okay. So, wow. So, it, it like, you know, analyzed all the results and from this, it found this property is just $300,000 with four bedroom. Like, you know, 156 square feet uh, per square feet is lowest. Awesome. So now let's see if it is a good deal. Okay. Just for $300,000, $300, it's a great property. Not bad, little bit improvement you can do so. So this is good. Um, so same way like, you know, you can previously like, you know, it was difficult to explain chat GPT what we want on a particular web page. Now, since chat GPT is inbuilt, it is making life much, much more uh, easier. Now let's uh, ask chat GPT to do some research and do some automations for us. So find me. A flight so here we are asking chat GPT to look for flight from Atlanta which can use you know American advantage points uh, and find something during Thanksgiving week okay. so it has done its result the research and able to find a one-way business to Europe for 57k mile, which is good. Wow, it has found a lot of good options. So that's like, you know, pretty awesome. So, you know, you can do these lot of automations workflow where uh, ChatGPT is able to work with multiple websites, platforms, get your data and summarize it. Now, whenever we search, uh, you know, in this Atlas browser, you get this chat GPT, this home summary page, but you can go to these like, you know, link also and look for details. Now, as they have shown in their website, you can also, you know, um, go to VRPO and other websites and, you know, find the right uh, property or option for you. So here they are searching for, you know, like a A-frame and it is providing the options like, you know, which property is fine. When you're writing email or something, you can, you know, use chat GPT to format your email content. You can start from wherever you left and, you know, continue your uh, journey. Even on Amazon, if you want Instacart, you can connect and, you know, it can do shopping for you. 
So I hope you found this video helpful. If there's any other use case you want us to uh, share, then please leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you.